The already high tensions in Washington intensified after a driver rammed a barricade and then opened fire. This happened just a block from the Capitol, where there's been a major increase in threats. Scott McFarland is near the scene of the crash. Scott, good morning. Nate, good morning to you. This caused a lot of alarm on Capitol Hill, which has been increasingly vigilant about security since January 6, 2021. At this intersection, during the pre-dawn hours, police say Richard York of Delaware, 29 years old, crashed his car into a barricade. The car caught fire. Then they say he pulled out a gun and started pulling the trigger. The burned out remnants of his car were the final remnants at the scene here. Police say the initial gunshots didn't hit or hurt anyone. But the police chief says as officers approached York, York shot and killed himself. Police say at this point it doesn't appear York was targeting members of Congress. But members of Congress aren't here right now. They're home for the August recess. This nevertheless happened at a particularly tense moment here at the Capitol for Congress, for the neighboring community, for the police officers. It was last April an attacker crashed into a barricade and killed a veteran Capitol Police officer, but also public records obtained by CBS News show the number of investigations into threats against members of Congress has increased by hundreds since January 6, 2021. Right now, the motive behind this incident is not clear why this man drove all the way to the Capitol complex, Tony. It seems to be getting worse. Scott, thank you very much.